Hey, welcome, welcome back. If you're a current subscriber, welcome if you're new. Okay, so again, I have different containers because I have a lot that I got through. So I was talking to Natalie and Carson and Alexis, and I think we all had Hannah's baby. This is from Birdie's Making Sense. Strawberry white bread, zucchini bread. This is very, very, very good. I did a small piece of this up in the studio while I was working. I had this in for two days and I left my warmers on for 24 hours. And when I came up here my second day to work, it was getting a little bit lighter, but it had been on for 24, 30 some hours by the time I was done with work. So good. I And I didn't use much in this space and I would definitely get more of this. So it was great. All right. And then some of these are one offs. Okay. Except I dropped a clamp here. Okay, so I did Ava's Country Cupboard. She's rebranding, and I don't know when her next launch is. I saw some of her labels, very pretty. Monster Mash, this was poured August of 2020, or 12, 2022. I think this was like a um, pumpkin pecan waffle. I need to find out what was in this. This was very good. It was four pumpkins. I did this in my open concept. Such a good performer. I really enjoyed that one. Right now I have Salt Mountain Melts by the Fireplace, which is chestnut, clove, smoky wood, vanilla, and neroli. I have this coming in, um, I think I just got one or two souffles again. It's a very unique scent. I think it's a dupe for a cologne, if memory serves me right. Someone told me that on one of the Facebook groups. This is very good. Um, I don't know how to describe this, but it, you definitely get like ch chestnuts, the smokiness in this. If you like smoky scents like I do, this is really good. I am excited to have more of that coming. Harper James, I wrote strong. This is Clark and Addison. It's strawberry, cherry, raspberry, pop rocks, lemon lime soda. I did this upstairs in my, like, and I have vaulted ceilings in the upstairs. I have two regular size warmers now and three minis. And this was so, so strong. When I walked in the entryway downstairs, I could smell this. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so strong. Very good performer. If you hear my husband now. That's my husband on his duck call. He's fixing the van. He hit a deer two weeks ago with the kids. Everyone was fine. He we were going. He was just going over our Apple Hill, and the deer jumped out of nowhere and he nailed it. Right now, with uh, I think they're in rut or whatever, so the bucks are chasing the does and they're running crazy because they're in heat. And last night I went to my friend's. Um, she has breast cancer, and I went to the a benefit with three of my kids with her because the other kids were working. And um, literally, I literally almost hit like five deer. No joke. And then, like I tell you this, this isn't funny. So my husband just hit one of our vans, and he's fixing the headlight. And then there's a little dent on the hood, but it our cars are paid for, so it's a van. He's he's fine with it. I would fix it if it was me, but it's one of our older vans, and he doesn't care. Um, so anyway, I'm driving, we're turned around the corner and all of a sudden we're literally, the Christmas lights are on outside my house and they play the music and they, you know, the, the lights go with the music. So I was telling the kids, I put up the, I got the rest of my lights on and I was showing them like, Hey, cause when we left the lights weren't on, and then when we came home, they were all of a sudden right in front of my house, this doe just like, I literally thought it was a dog at first because all of a sudden, out of my corner of my eye, I just saw this. It looked like I have Samson. He's a golden doodle. And I thought for a second he ran through his border because he has a collar, a wireless collar. I thought it was my dog coming like to greet us. So I slammed as hard as I could on my brakes because I really thought it was my poor dog and I was going to hit him. And oh my gosh, right? And all of a sudden, like slammed on my brakes, the car, you know, the van just halts and then the I swerved just a tiny bit because I'm in my neighborhood. I was going like 25 miles an hour. It's not like I was going fast. And my son's like, oh, your brakes are good. <laughs> I was like, yes, they are. Because literally, if I would not have hit the brakes that hard, it we it literally would have jumped onto my hood. But I thought it was my poor dog. And I'm like, I am not hitting my dog. I mean, right? I mean, all I could see was this flash of what looked like my dog. Anyway, I was literally like... We all just were laughing at the end of it because we were like, we saw so many deer last night driving home. I drove like 40 miles an hour in the country and we had to go through like 15 miles of country and because we, we saw so many deer. And I was thinking, oh, we're almost home. We're looking at the Christmas lights and boom. Anyway, my brakes are good. <laughs> and I didn't hit a deer, thank goodness, because that would have been really bad because he would have probably, he would have done a lot of damage to my new van. But anyway, sorry. 
Okay, poor Harper James. Okay, Mary is the owner. I love her wax. This is Happy Birthday Pumpkin. I did this in this room here. It's pumpkin spice, vanilla cream, marshmallow frosting, birthday cake. This is really good. I would definitely order this again. It is a very, very good frosting buttercream pumpkin scent. I told you I've been obsessed with that lately. This was very, very good. I only used like half of this. It performed so well. Loved it. Now, another one I did in my... um actually did this in my open concept. It's buy me some more, which is sea salt, butter, popcorn, caramel. If you love popcorn scents like I do, this is a great caramel popcorn. It did so well. This literally is caramel popcorn. There's nothing else on this. It literally smells like homemade caramel popcorn. So good. I would love to see some more blends with this. See what she does. She does very good popcorn scents, and I love popcorn scents. Mary is the owner. She's great. Anytime I do an order, I talk with her, and she's so helpful anytime I do customs. Okay, super tarts. I don't know what this is because she does these little labels on her bags, and it fell off. So I have no idea what they are, but my label didn't fall off. This is lemongrass, lavender, sage, eucalyptus, spearmint, frozen ozone. Very good, clean, heavy on the lemongrass. It did very, very well. I did it upstairs here and I could smell it in my entryway. It was that strong. So I wanted to just do a clean scent up here and it performed very well, but I have no idea what it is. Sorry about that. Mr. Myers, this is strong. It's fall leaves, campfire, vanilla bean. I'm, I have one more use of this and I'm gonna probably finish this up this week. I like it, but it's not a love of mine. I did Iron Islands in my bathroom. I just got this. I think I hauled this. Yeah, I did haul this for you guys. This is phenomenal. So, so good. Love it. I got that in the sample and then I was obsessed with it. Okay, I got through quite a few clams. Practically perfect, which is chocolate or orchid, spearmint, and blackberry. This is really a nice blackberry. That's mainly what I get with a little bit of spearmint. I did this in my laundry room in my husband's bathroom. Did very well. Mini Bows, this is so strong. It is ice lemonade, lollipops, and strawberry. Used all of that. I think I finished it. I didn't start that one. Chomper, I had two of these left. This is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, mac apple. Any of her jaws blends are phenomenal and so worth it. I did one in my bedroom, one in my bathroom, and this was so, so strong. Sometimes I have such great luck, and then other times I do not. This is Grudge. This is Blueberry muffin, vanilla bean, sandalwood, fall leaves. It was so light. I did this in my upstairs here, though, and I used all six. It was, no, it was not good. I don't know. That was one, you know, otherwise, if they do well, I, like, they're, most of the time, they're very strong. L Leonardo, which is blue sponge sugar, blackberry jam, butter cookies, sweet and tart candy. I d I'm doing this upstairs right now. Use the whole clam. It's strong. Linda, which is cornbread, buttercream, pink sugar, cream soda. This was okay. It's not a love of mine, but this did very well up here as well. I've been using a lot of the super tart uh, clams upstairs because it they're usually strong and then I can get through them one time and, you know, use up some of my, what I have. Okay, let me grab, I have two more baskets. This is going to be a long video. When I'm working from home, I still have one more, but it's not as big as this. When I'm working from home, I'm getting through wax. This is Teddy B, Small Town Circus, Caramel Apples, Kettle Corn, Funnel Cakes, and Cinnamon Sugared Pretzels. I need more of this. I don't know when this was poured. It was light. I did this in my bedroom bathroom, and it was light, but I really enjoyed the pretzel, the caramel, and the kettle corn in this. Again, it's got a popcorn scent. I love this. I, I would like her to do it again. I don't know that she'll do it this year, but hopefully I can snag this again sometime because this was so, so good. I don't even know what to do here. I have so much wax, huh? Okay, I was going through some Dessas. All right, so I did October, apple cider, caramel, pumpkin pie, cinnamon, clove. This is very good. I did this in this room. I really enjoyed that one. Um, candy cane, snowball cookie, shortbread cookies, crushed candy cane, vanilla, uh, glaze. This did really well. I, I did this at bedtime and it performed very well for me. Pink frosted cake. This was yellow cake topped with sweet strawberry buttercream frosting. This was medium. It was good. I just didn't love, love that one. This one, apple cider sticky buns, apple cider donuts, sweet sticky buns, caramel sauce. This is very good. Heavy on the caramel, but it was good. On the boardwalk, I did this in the laundry room and I enjoyed that one. I did this in my husband's bathroom um, 
rhinestone and broomsticks. He liked that one. Okay. I gotta tell you that, okay. I had one, I had two disappointing um, scents from Sassy Girl Aroma and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how I'm a little disappointed. Okay, this one was so, so strong. I did this in my upstairs here and it's frosted lemon cookies. Um, fresh baked sugar cookies topped with sweet lemon frosting. This was phenomenal. So dang, so dang strong. And then I'm going to tell you about these two. Um, Christmas at Santa's is a favorite, favorite scent of mine. Like, favorite. So I used almost all of this yesterday. Um, I was decorating. And in the bag, it smells like it normal do normally does. But... I put in almost all of this and this was so light. This is Pepperberry Wreath, Sugar Cookies and Marshmallow Fireside. This is such a phenomenal scent. I don't know, I got this last year. I didn't put a sticker on it, but it was probably near the end of the season. So like February, there's no reason this shouldn't have performed. I have two and a half loaves of this and I've never had an issue. I don't know why this didn't, but I was very disappointed in this. I will just say, very disappointed. And this comes after I did pumpkin creamer. I ordered this because Drew told me this was phenomenal. And then after the fact, I asked him and he's like, well, I didn't even warm it yet. But I, I said, but you told me this was so good and I needed to try this. He didn't even warm it and he told me that. And I was kind of mad because I got zero throw. Like, could not smell this and I used the whole thing. So, that's how I feel about that too. So just saying, like sometimes maybe ask someone if they've warmed it, if they're suggesting that they love a diehard scent, but they've never warmed it because that made me mad that I spent my money and that he lied and never, he never even warmed it and I got zero performance. Now these other ones were fine, so I really don't know what's going on. This one I received in August. This is, it's Fall Charlie Brown, Apple Pumpkin Strudel Zucchini Bread. Great. I used the whole thing. And this was an amazing apple zucchini bread. Love this. I would get more of this. So I, I don't really know. Like, it, I, and the, it can't be because of maybe it was from last February. This is from last January. This was gifted to me. This is cat scratch fever, peppermint, and sinus relief. I wasn't feeling good about a week and a half ago. Um, I used this for a headache, and I only used two of these. And um, no, I used one row. And so strong, so good. So I don't really know why those two I had duds with, but I'm not the only one. I talked to several people and they said that pumpkin creamer they got zero performance for and it was recommended as well by Drew. So just saying, not trying to be a jerk, but just maybe warm your wax and before you tell everybody to buy a certain scent because that's people's hard earned money and it really bothered me and it was my money as well. Okay, Brandy's Pistachio. This is a recommended from Ashley Overly. This is creamy pistachio, marshmallows, birthday cake, and a slice of zucchini bread. She loves um, pistachio, and I am not a big pistachio person. I'm very picky. So this was from last March. It looks like my sticker is faded, but I can see a little bit. Yes, March. And I had asked her, could you recommend one so I could try it? And this is the one that she said, and I really did enjoy this. Strong performer again. Great. So thank you for that recommendation. It was very good. All right, and then um, VCS, Grace sent me this. This was cotton candies dipped in cotton candy frosting. Um, it was called Anna Waltz of the Snowflakes. Very good, performed very well. This one, oh my gosh, I need more of this. This is Riff Raff's Cozy Cocktail. It's pumpkin bourbon bonfire. This was pumpkin, it was smoky, it lasted. I did it upstairs here, so vaulted ceilings five warmers only and it was strong for two days and I literally enjoyed it every time I walked upstairs. I want more of this for next year. So that one is a save. Okay. Um, Britta's, I have a few I got through. Um, Jason, which was hipster, roasted pine cones, vanilla bean marshmallow. It was medium, six hours. I just didn't love it so I wouldn't repurchase it but I love Britta's wax. This one is Dean. It's hot apple pie bourbon sauce, strong for 12 hours. Good. And this one was so strong. It was a sample. It was cotton candy frosting, strawberry, blueberry cheesecake. I did this in my laundry room and it was like two days. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so strong for a little sample. I did um, Midnight Daydream Wax. It's Main Street Confectioner, which is cake batter cookies, cotton candy, and kettle corn. It, 
It was very, very light. This was poured 2121. No, I couldn't smell it. Um, and I did it in this room. This is Candles by Victoria, banana cream or coconut cream pie. This was from 925.21. So strong. Oh my gosh. I Let me know if you know if she's doing a scent shot sale again. I am going to order some. This, every one I've tried so far in my bedroom bathroom has been a massive throat. Like so impressed. So impressed. And that was gifted to me. Um, this one is Hayden Row Best in Show. It's Neroli Orange Blossom Ylang Ylang Rosewood Sandalwood. Very good sample. I did it in my husband's bathroom. Destination Tonic, a fresh and green scent with geranium and rosemary compared to Claren's Body Tonic. I didn't like it, but it was very strong in there. Um, Empire Alchemy, the Huntsman. This was very strong in my open concept. It was cider in charred barrels, vanilla, B. Noel, dried berries, smoke wood, fire embers. Her scents are so unique. I would repurchase this one. This one is very popular and I'm throwing it in my basket for next year. It was very, very good. L3. Little disappointed in these. I did two of these trigs. Um, it, it really had a burnt note this time. So I'm not sure. I do have scoops, two or three scoops of this. I've worn this before and not gotten a burnt note, but this time I got, again, these were poured together in September and they were, they smelled very burnt pretzel. Oh, I'm a little sad. Okay. I did this from, gosh, so I'm having issues. This is August. I'm having issues with my, these not staying on. That's kind of disappointing. It must be from the oils. Pumpkin pecan waffle, sugar cookie, cream cheese frosting. Very good, but I will confess right here and now, I'm not, I don't think I, I love everybody's pumpkin pecan waffles. I don't think I love L3s. I have had so many other ones that I really like, and then I try L3, and I'm like, it's not the same. Ah, tell me if I'm alone in this. Twisty, I did this up here in my studio. It was very good. This is Experience the Fair Fall with this tasty treat from a favorite clown buttered popcorn harvest spice and cider donut. It has popcorn. I love it. <laughs> um, I am doing this. I did this on Friday and then yesterday. It is Fresh Picked Strawberries, Cotton Candy, White Elephant Exchange. I love her cotton candy and her strawberries. This is in this studio space, so strong. This is one of her little, little bar, I don't remember what she calls them. So, so good. I would repurchase that again as well. I did, this was customs from like, I did them in February, I think of last year. Pretzel, cinnamon, sugar. Uh, this is phenomenal. This is an amazing pretzel pretzel with a great cinnamon sugar coating. So good. Used half of this or not even half of this. Oh my gosh, this performs so well in my open concept. Loved it. Love, loved it. The Melted Mousse. I'm almost done with this one. This is Abominable. This is Sugar Cookies, Candy Canes, and White Chocolate Noel. This is so dang strong. I literally couldn't use more than the same amount when I went to bed because it is so strong. I love this. I'll finish this up this week. Another one I did at bedtime with Cindy Lou. Pink sugar candy canes, cotton candy frosting, and marshmallow fluff. This is from last December when I did customs. So, so strong. <laughs> so strong. Okay. This is going to be a little disappointing, and I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but I've had not great luck with sassy wax melts. Um, first of all, the labels are really hard, again, I, to read there. This one is poured um, 10, 2 of 21. It's Falls Coming, so it's pumpkin pecan waffles. Caramelized pralines, frosted sugar cookie. I don't know if she changed her wax because some of the wax was really soft and I could cut it like nobody's business. And then this wax is super hard. And this one, you can see it's smudged on here. Um, this one performed, the softer wax performed where I could smell this in my open concept. These two, I had a harder time. Um... I did, I'm trying to close this bag. I did this in my, um, this one was chilling by the fire. So this one I did in my open concept downstairs as well as this one. This one I could smell more. So this was the softer wax. This was harder. I don't know if that, if she changed her wax or what. This one is um, pumpkin peanut brittle. Now I did this to be fair. I, it's, I used almost all of it upstairs here. So I did it in a different space. And I would say this was more medium, but I did it in a more like a smaller area. So I think that's why this performed better. So I think if I order from her again, I'll just do it in a smaller area and see how it goes. 
I do have some clams, so I'll just kind of see how it goes. But let me know if she did change her wax or if you just found it performs better in a smaller space. I don't have a problem with that as long as like I'm just more mindful of ordering more fresh fruity scents and then do them in my smaller spaces, which I'm okay with. And then Rose Girls. I wanted to use up some of my Rose Girls because I have a lot. So I did Don't Kale My Vibe. This was a chunk muffin. She hasn't done these in like a year and a half, almost two years. This is Grass Cannabis Flower Coastal Kale. I love Coastal Kale. This was so good. This was two days in my warmer. I absolutely love, love that. And I did that in my bedroom bathroom. I did this in my bedroom bathroom. This was a snowflake. This is Alice's Cheshire Cat Honeydew Cotton Candy Frosting. And then Zen. So good. I left that in for a day. I usually change my wax every day unless I'm... It's so good that I just leave it. I finished Zen. I, this was a relaxing, clean spa scent. I love that scent. Such a great spa scent. Now I mixed... You're going to see in a moment I have K's Satsuma. So I mixed Coastal Kale, Peppermint, and Satsuma together. I absolutely love that. I've asked Jenny, every time she has a contest, I try to get her to do this scent together. This is such a great blend. Love it. Um, I did Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallows Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This was I received this in July. This was so good. It performed so well. Strong performance in my open concept. This was in my open concept. I wrote strong. Um, banana and then the carbs kicks in after like I think it was six hours I was sitting on the couch and I was like wait a second now I get more of the carb bakery this is banana cream pie baked zucchini bread cookies and donuts so good I love her carbs blends now this was a love 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 this is swanky's Marsh or marsala chai frosted pumpkin cupcakes I used half of this. I'm so sad. This is my second loaf of this scent. This is phenomenal. I'm going to look in the In Search of pages and see if anyone has this. The chai in this is so good. It's spicy. It's creamy. It's dreamy. And then it starts to fade off. And then this yummy frosted pumpkin cupcake comes in. Frosted pumpkin cupcake. This was so good. I texted um, Natalie, Carson, and Alexis. And I was like... Why do I not warm more scents that I just love? Because this was a reminder of like, stop buying wax that you just might like and buy the scents that you know you love because this is so, so good. This I got last fall, phenomenal. All right, one more basket. Not as much. <laughs> okay, so K's. I told you I used Satsuma. This is from like a year and a half, almost two years ago. So good, I love Satsuma. I need to get more of that. So I mixed that with the Rose Girls Coastal Kale and Peppermint, Apple Cider Donut, yummy. I wish she still did these because I really like these so you can try them out with blending. Apple Fireside, I love that one. Um, Black Opium, this is Vanilla Cream, Orange Blossom, Cider Wood, Patchouli and Coffee. I don't like this. Is this like a, a cologne or something? I don't know. Carson, Natalie, who loves this one? I don't love it. I did it in my husband's bathroom and laundry room and every time I went in there I was like, I don't love it. Who? Lo I don't love that one. Just not my vibe, okay? What I did love are these two. I only did, so sometimes I shut my bathroom door when I wanna just, like if I'm testing a scent or I wanna just see what I think of it before I use it all. Uh, this is Strawberry Pound Cake Serendipity Bum Bum. bum. This is Kay Marie's scent, I believe. Um, Natalie and I, we were all talking about different scents and she said, you gotta try this one and I'm like, okay, I'll try it. Oh my gosh, this, you should try it. If you like the Boom Boom um, and Strawberry and Serendipity, oh my gosh, this is so good. So, so good. And it performs so well. This one, I did four of these. So in my bedroom bathroom. And this is very, I will say, on, on cold, I was like, oh, I don't know. Because I asked for this. This is from July again when she had a sale. Sugar Cookie Crunch, Vanilla Birch, and Palo Santo. What I will say is I do love birch, and I sh and I just asked her. I didn't tell her specifications. What I think I'll do next time, because I will order this again, this was Creamy Dreamy Cookie Vanilla Palo Santo. This was in for two days. I literally was texting Natalie and like, oh my gosh, this is so dang good. So good. 
like winner made me happy this week. Carla, this was beautiful. Thank you so much. But next time I think I am going to, I'm going to probably do two different separate bags. I think she has a new cookie scent I want to try. And then I'm going to ask for more of the birch. Maybe I'll find out what she did on this one. If it was like 30%, I might ask for 50%. Um, because I am, I am so obsessed with good birch scents. So if you have a favorite birch, let me know. This was so good. Um, Again, both of these on cold were like kind of light to me and I was a little nervous and then I warmed them and I was like, uh, yep. So I'm making a list and I am going to be doing more. I'm going to order more from Carla's because when I, I think when I first started YouTube, I think she was my second video and then I got caught up with all these vendors and it's like, sometimes you just need to go back to what works and what's good, right? Okay. All right. Zape, uh, Grinch cookies. This is a sugar cookie, I think with peppermint very strong in the peppermint like my eyes hurt if you love that this would be great um yeah it's just not a love of mine she's got so many more that i love including snowball fight this says crisp winter air frosty fall and snow with breezes of burning fireplace mingle with hints of crushed candy cane this is really unique and you do get this like fire note with again with like the candy cane cookie oh my gosh i have another shape in this this was a day and a half I had it in and it just kept kind of changing. So I was like, well, I don't want to take it out because I want to see how it like warms down. But this was so good. If you like, again, the fireplace kind of scents, I would highly recommend this. So good. I did not order that. She restocked Christmas in a cup and red cup season and another one. And I went in and ordered them because I was, I was, me I messaged Ashley like, I know you're going to restock could you please re-pour these? I will buy the, some in the scoops. And then my husband and I were on a date Friday afternoon. We went to dinner, we went, or we went to lunch, we went to Menards, and you know, and so I was busy with him. And I shared that on Instagram. And, um, and then I got home and I was like, oh my gosh, please say she didn't sell it. I think she had sold out of some of it, but she had it in scoops. And I, I was hoping for shapes, but I went and grabbed the scoops because I'm like, I, her scoops are so strong and they... I've had them some for a year, like a year and a half, and they perform well. So I, I was so happy that she agreed to report those, and I hope she restocks them again because she's got some great Christmas blends. Zape does. Okay, I did order from Kathy Scoopable Wax. She had a sale this last week, and I ordered a few from her. Um, she had carbs with ghoul friends, and I love that. So um, again, she's the original owner of Rose Girls. So this is Scarecrow Snacks, which is Cornbread Cider Lane Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This was very light. I used it all, and it was light. It was disappointing. That is the only one that was more light, but I did use it in my open concept. It was just not great. So I don't know what happened. Um, Sugar Mouse by Stacy, Strawberry Twinkie. This is phenomenal. You definitely get the Twinkies and the strawberries. This is going right now, and it's very strong in my open concept. Um, this one was light, but I liked the scent. It was... Did I already share this Pagan Moon? I don't remember. Maybe on Instagram I did. This was a good scent. Um, but it was light, but it was okay in this room because I enjoyed the scent. Um, Cuddle Up. I only used three of these in my bedroom bathroom. This is Tonka and Oud. This is phenomenal. This reminds me of Scentsy's um, Vanilla Oud or Vanilla Suede. Two days in my warmers. So good. I have um, in my cart at Walmart, I have a bunch of Christmas scents from Sensationals. So I'm going to do a little haul on that. Carson loves them. He's been raving about Walmart wax forever. I have always had some when I first started, you know, using wax. But again, then you get swooped up and you start buying everything else. But they do perform so, so well. It's con it's consistent. Um, Goose Creek. I did Salted Caramel Cupcake. Performed very well upstairs, but I didn't like the scent. Um, this one was strong. This was very good. Our family kitchen, very good as well. All right. Oh my gosh. If you made it this far, give yourself a big pat on the back because that was a long video. I am so sorry. I will try to do my um, bath melting or, you know, my empties and empties a little bit more often so this doesn't get to be a long video. I might end up breaking this up into two <laughs> because I'm guessing this is going to be long. Um, thank you so much. Again, I just want to say I truly appreciate you all so much. I'm going to go do my nails now. I'm these, I've had these on for two weeks. Perfectly fine and great, but, um, 
if I wasn't going to keep, like if I was going to keep these on, I could fill them again, but I want to change the shape and make them a little bit shorter. So I'm going to take these off today. So that usually takes me a couple hours. So I'm going to go do that. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.